morning, dear friends and brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who has given us another day to live and glorify him. Remember, if you are a follower of Jesus Christ, your day must be spent to lift up Jesus Christ our Lord. Whatever you do, wherever you are, let everything be done and spoken in the name of the Lord for his glory. And uh, today I would like to meditate with you from a passage found in the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 2, verses 41 to 44. So that's what we are going to read. Let me read it for you. Uh, chapter 2 from verse 41 to 44. 41 says, Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know it. But supposing him to be in the group, they went a day's journey, but when they began to search for him among their relatives and acquaintances, and when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem. Now, there is this phrase in verse 44, it says, but supposing him to be in the group, what I want to meditate with you this morning is the danger of supposing. This is a word common in our daily life. Well, now, let us suppose for the sake of argument. Supposing there is a God. You know, this expression, suppose, 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 we use it for so many things. And nobody realizes that it is a dangerous thing to suppose. In matters concerning daily life, it is dangerous. And in the book of Acts chapter 7 verse 25, Moses' supposition meant 40 years of exile. So let us look into what he supposed. Acts chapter 7, verse 25. It says here, um, he supposed that his brothers would understand that God was giving them salvation by his hand. He supposed. And that supposition meant cost him 40 years of exile simply because he supposed at that time that God was going to use him as a deliverer and the people are going to accept him. And then what we read in the gospel of Luke chapter 2 is the parents supposed that his 12 year old, their 12 year old boy, son was with them. But that supposition not only cost him three more days of searching, but also it cost them the peace of mind and they, 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 they were afraid what had happened to him. Simply because they supposed, instead of making it certain in the beginning of their journey, that he was with them, which they failed, but they supposed. Now, from a Moses' case, his supposition was very dangerous. From a prince to a shepherd, that's what led him that supposition. Simply because he supposed, instead of making certain and sure, now, Acts chapter 27, verse 13 says, 27, 13. Now, when the south wind blew gently, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, they weighed anchor 
and sailed along Crete close to the shore. Now that was another dangerous supposition that the people in the ship, the captain and others uh, did. And uh, the, the, the supposition of the military and the seamen uh, led to the loss of ship and cargo and property. A dangerous supposition. Now you understand how dangerous it is to suppose anything. But to make sure that your supposition will lead you into unnecessary tension and uncertainty and danger. So the other thing about this is in matters concerning Christ and our personal relationship with him, supposition can be fatal, dangerous. Number one, Luke chapter two, verse 44. Three days of heartache searching frantically for the boy Jesus. It may have been excusable at that time, remembering the social custom of that day. Are you sure he is in your heart as Lord and Savior? Are you sure? Or you are just simply supposing that you are a Christian. Remember, true Christianity is not a religion, not reciting Lord's Prayer, not attending the church, and not singing Christian hymns and all this. No. Participating in the singing and worship of the church don't suppose because you are doing these things, you are a follower or a Christian. Make sure that Christian, who a Christian is. Christianity is Christ in you. Make sure that he lives in you, controlling you, and he is the king and lord over your life. So, are you sure that Christ is in you? And the second thing I want you to think is, with you as friend and guide, is he there with you? See that the supposition is changed into certainty. Don't live in supposing. Don't spend another day supposing you are a Christian. No. But make sure that the Lord Jesus Christ is with you and he is in you. And then in the Gospel according to St. John chapter 20 verse 15 says, John 20, 15. We read here. Um, Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him. Now here again, Mary Magdalene. Supposing that the one who spoke to him was a gardener. Now supposing that means supposing him to be less than what he really is. That was the danger of her supposition. And supposing, he, she supposed him to be a gardener. And sometimes people those days perhaps supposed him to be a carpenter. In other words, supposing him to be less than what he really is. That is the meaning of the year. And my friends, never take that dangerous route in your journey as a Christian. 
yes he was a carpenter as a human being growing up but is more than a carpenter what does a carpenter do a carpenter brings a rough tough hard wood and work on it and work on it chipping away all the unwanted and unnecessary parts of that wood and then making it smooth and until that wood is turned to be a beautiful a furniture for the use of man yes that's what the job of a carpenter and in that sense our lord jesus christ is more than a carpenter what does he do he works on human being he takes a rough and tough and 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 uncontrollable uh, person so full of sin and full of uh, ugliness he doesn't care about god he doesn't fear man or god and he doesn't care about what people think of him he just goes around as a terror to the people he takes such a man work on him until he is so smooth his personality is completely changed even his very look is changed now he is so gentle he is so loving he is so kind he is a different person altogether and he is a help to anybody and a blessing to everybody and above all a blessing to the church of jesus christ he takes a human being like that and changed him and transformed him by the power of the holy spirit so my friend jesus christ don't suppose things about him don't suppose your own relationship with him simply because you're born in a christian home or born and go to church and sing hymns or participate in the choir and worship leading and all these things can be done but make sure that jesus christ is in you guiding you leading you blessing that is christianity so don't live on supposition live on the certainty of your relationship with jesus christ and at the end he shall take you to himself god bless you my friends this is a great day and live for his glory walk with him amen holy spirit of god we all need the spirit to guide us and to enlighten us and to lead us to Christ and uh, make us to confess that Jesus Christ is within me he is my lord and my savior and my god thank you jesus name amen